Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 38th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about scope of variables in PHP. So I've got a very short and sweet script file ready for you and I have uh, given it the name scope.php and on line number 6 in this file I have the opening PHP tag, on line number 15 I have the closing PHP tag and then uh, I have uh, created a variable called msg, short form for message, on line number 7 and I've assigned to it the string value good morning. Right, and then on line number eight, I have uh, created a function called greeting, and uh, this function is not going to take in any arguments. As you can uh, see, you know I have an empty parameter list here, and then inside the function body, that is between the opening curly brace on line number nine and the closing curly brace on line number eleven, I have created the variable msg again. Right, so in a way, I'm trying to change the value of uh, the variable to good night. So I created msg. I assigned to it the value good morning and then inside this function I have changed the value to good night but we haven't still called this function right so we know that a function you know executes only when it is called so we still haven't called it we've just defined it and uh, then on line number 12 I have used the echo statement to see you know the contents of the variable msg so over here we can be sure that we're going to see good morning as the output because you know we still haven't called this function and uh, the variable that's going to be used by PHP is going to be this one and then on line number 13 we have called the function greeting and then on line number 14 I have used an echo statement again uh, to see the contents of the variable msg so you know we are expecting PHP to have changed the value in the variable msg from good morning to good night so let's see what it has done and uh, I'll save the file I go to my browser instead of uh, return underscore multiple I'm going to look for scope.php here we see good morning and uh, we see good morning again so PHP hasn't changed the value of the variable MSG and the reason for that is that the scope of a variable when you define it in a function is local to the function right so this variable MSG has the value good night only when it is used inside the function so if I want to see good night here instead of uh, good morning, one thing that I can do is I can uh, you know just copy this uh, echo statement or I can cut it actually and uh, you know I can paste it inside the function, right? So now this echo statement is going to execute as soon as we call the greeting function here on line number 14, and uh, you know the value that will be used inside the function is going to be the one that we have created or assigned to the variable msg inside the function right and uh, if i save the file and uh, if i refresh it here we see good morning and good night so you know you cannot make change to a variable that has been defined outside uh, a function by just using the assignment operator you'll have to do something more and what you'll have to do is let me just uh, you know reverse uh, the changes that I made so this is how the file was initially and I'll refresh it in the browser so we see good morning twice now let's say we want to change the value of a variable that has been created outside a function from within a function so one thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to you know type in global space dollar msg the name of the variable and the global keyword is going to instruct PHP that the variable that we want to use inside this function is actually the global variable, you know, or the one that was created outside the function, right? So now when we are going to, you know, assign the value good night, we won't be assigning it to a variable that's local to the function. Instead, we'll be assigning the value to the one that we created here on line number seven, right? So that's perfectly legal. And uh, I'll go to my browser and I'll refresh it and there we go we see good morning and good night so we can change values of variables outside a function from within a function uh, if we use a global keyword right so that's it for this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll discuss something interesting again and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care